They did uh, recede quickly today uh, compared to what we saw out there yesterday. Oh, yeah, you know, but a lot of people will go out to Multnomah Falls no matter what. So sure. having the opportunity to actually get out there and get to the falls is, is really uh, helpful. But it's just a, a place where sometimes that water, you know, does creep up there. All right, so it did recede a bit, and that was very helpful over the last day, at least throughout our Saturday here. We've had plenty of dry time. It's been gloomy, it's been foggy, it's been damp, but we haven't had any measurable rain around here. Here's Portland tonight, actually cleared up a little bit. We may see some more fog developing as we head into the overnight hours. And we'll keep the ground pretty wet. Uh, we are mainly dry through the rest of the weekend, although tomorrow there may be a passing shower, and I'll try to pinpoint some of those locations out when we get into the future cast here in just one second. We have a lot of rain, though, on the way uh, once we get beyond this weekend. It's been busy this month so far. Today was the first day that we didn't have measurable rain. We've had rain going all the way back to the first, but then, of course, we had this package right here uh, that was just... Well, torrential downpour and it just kept on going for a couple days. So that's why we have you know, all the flooding issues and we even had record rainfall. So with all that, you package it all together and look at we are over two and a half inches above normal for the month of November. We're getting pretty close to our average for the whole month that we're not even to the halfway point. And you can see right here we're short of five inches, but I think we're going to get there by the time we wrap up this work week. All right, rain totals today, Vancouver, Portland, Hillsborough, down to McMinnville. We didn't collect anything, but Astoria, nearly a half an inch, four tenths of an inch. Seaside, probably something similar to that. Kelso, right around that range right there, less than one tenth of an inch. And then we didn't have any measurable rain to the east. We still have some showers late tonight, but the heavy rain is staying north of us. We'll continue to watch that as we go into tomorrow. Again, some of that rain may clip us, but likely staying just over areas of probably Cowlitz County and Clark County. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that though for tomorrow. We have that stream of moisture right there honing in still. High pressure right here, so it's directing it right over the top. The southern section of the state is going to be clipping that high pressure, so it's pretty dry there. We have more day and heading into Friday. We'll collect most of the rain, mainly on Monday and Thursday. Those are the Tuesday, two days that I'm watching. Tomorrow, notice that we do have a scattered shot for some rain, but as I mentioned, I think we're going to be more dry than, than wet for tomorrow. You can see on the future cast late tonight, there's the clouds. They don't really go too far, although we're looking out there right now. They did break apart just a little bit. We have more clouds early tomorrow morning, though sunshine and passing clouds to the east. And you can see the showers all around us, but most of the valley staying dry from Marion County extending to the south. But we'll probably see some very light ranges to the north of us. By 530, about the same. It's creeping in, but not quite here until we get to Monday. And then the front really passes on through. I believe we're going to have about of heavy rain at that point in time and also some strong wind. And then again, some mountain snow to help build that base. All right, seven-day forecast, 63 tomorrow, some clouds, 58 on Monday, 50 on Tuesday. A chance for some sunshine finally on Tuesday. Then we cloud back up Wednesday and then wane cool and showery to wrap up the week.